First, we're going to remotely configure the VXGC. The status of each group will change to ODI streaming. Then, we configure the channels on the right. And there you go, the RFs are on. Now back on the Constellator to load the CRPA simulation scenario configuration. While it loads, let's reset the ODI ports on the VXGC. And let's start the Constellator simulation. Nothing happens immediately, but Constellator is queued, and it is waiting for the VXGC to send the trigger that will guarantee the perfect phase synchronization between the four channels. Preparing. And triggering. Simulation has begun and RF is sent to our receiver. Signals begin to being tracked by the receiver, and we first have estimated DOA, represented by little crosses. Pseudo ranges are beginning to be measured, and the C of N0 values are as expected. We now have a PVT, and we can see that all the crosses are within the little squares on the sky plot. This indicated that the estimated DOAs, measured thanks to the CRPA configuration and the phase delay produced by the VXGC, are very close to the theoretical ones, extracted from the ephemeris of the simulated satellites. We can now challenge our simulation setup and introduce a jammer from a very specific direction. The jammer's direction of arrival should be deduced by the receiver using very slight phase offsets of the signal received by each antenna and therefore dephased and sent by the VXDC. Jammer is activated. And there it is. The interference is located at the very same spot both on the constellator and the receiver's sky plots, which indicates that VXGC's dephasing of constellator's generated signals is perfect.
When returning to the Skyplot view, we can see that the satellite's DOA's estimations do not match the DOA's from Ephemeris because the jammer perturbs the signals. However, the CRPA receiver actively mitigates the jamming signal to keep a valid positioning and timing solution. When we stop the jammer, the estimated satellite's DOAs match again. And we can see that the jammer is no longer visible to the receiver.